Boiling depends on the amount of pressure around the liquid. On Earth, the atmosphere is what creates this pressure. If we look at a cross-section of the atmosphere, only 50 kilometers has enough air for humans to breathe. The pressure also decreases as we go higher. That's because as we go higher in the atmosphere, there are fewer air molecules. Like all matter, air has mass, and gravity pulls it towards Earth. That's why the atmosphere doesn't just drift away into outer space. The weight of the air above us pushes down due to gravity, and this creates atmospheric pressure. The more air above you, the more pressure, and pressure makes it more difficult for boiling to take place. Think of it like these books. The more books, the more pressure. And the more pressure, well, eventually, it'll crush the can. When you go up a mountain, there is less air above you pushing down, and the pressure is lower. Your ears can pop, and water boils at a lower temperature than it would at sea level. So back to boiling. Boiling happens when water molecules have enough energy to spread out and to form bubbles. These bubbles rise to the surface, and they release the water vapor. Since the water vapor contains these more energetic molecules, releasing them into the air cools the water. So here we have our beaker with a bubble. If we increase the pressure, the molecules in the bubble will move closer together, and eventually they'll change back into liquid water. Alternatively, if we decrease the pressure, that makes it easier for those water molecules to spread out and form a bubble, and that's boiling. We can see this with the syringe. We push in the plunger, we increase the pressure, molecules move closer together, and the bubble becomes smaller. When we pull the plunger out, we're decreasing the pressure. That means those molecules can spread out more easily, and the bubble grows. If we pull the plunger out and decrease the pressure enough, water will start boiling. Note that the temperature doesn't change. It doesn't get hotter when it boils. It's just that there's low pressure, the molecules can spread out to form bubbles, and that's what we see happening here. Boiling is strongly influenced by the atmospheric pressure. On Earth, that pressure is created by gravity pulling air molecules down towards Earth. Those air molecules push on a liquid and they can make it more difficult for boiling to take place. Remove the pressure and it's easier for boiling to take place as the more energetic molecules spread out and form bubbles. Note that we haven't talked about the pressure created by molecules of water escaping the liquid. That's called vapor pressure and the subject of the next video.